Desert Financial Arena. And another rowdy crowd on hand. Number four, Arizona, comes to town to face Arizona State as we check the Pac-12 standings. Wildcats first place in the Pac-12. The Sun Devils did them a huge favor on Saturday night with that win over UCLA. Now let's take a look at the rest of the uh, starting lineups here. Benedict Matherin, wooden watch candidate, sophomore leading scorer for Arizona and for Arizona State. Well, we'll see what they can do with the same starting five against UCLA that they had over the weekend. And really up until Saturday night, fumbling the ball, Graham in the semicircle as he kicks it out to Jay Heath, who starts the night for the Sun Devils. Piece it down to the ground. I have a feeling there's going to be a little bit of extra, not just because of the rivalry, as this is turned over by the Wildcats, but maybe what Carissa might be chirping at him throughout the night. Gaffney at three. Aiming a stingy defense. It's incredible the numbers that they've put up. Top five in the nation in a slew of offensive and defensive categories. Meanwhile, it's three triples for the Sun Devils. DJ Horn knocks another down. To shooting wrist in the second game of the season. It's been bothering him all year. Oh, wow. Talk about making something out of nothing. Or they've got Arizona rattled right now. Wow! You want to talk about a start? Just one day off of rest. We asked Bobby Hurley about it. He said, pretty much every guy you saw in that graphic has been in a cryo chamber trying to get right today. Uh, there's Dalen Terry with the first field goal. Creesa, no. And an offensive rebound. Mathurin stripped. Sun Devils want to run. Lawrence to the 10. Tenth game against the Arizona Wildcats. He's three and six in his career. Arizona's won the last three in this rivalry to Billis. Floats it in. State on paper was supposed to be kind of right with them. Yeah, you know what's interesting about the Sun Devils to me this year is their defense has been good, although they give up a layup right there to Ben Matherin. Who, but this year's team is defense first. Oh, it is a mismatch on paper. As oh, this is thrown down on the putback from Omar Paulo. Sure that you're big when he's posting up. He's got deep position. Third turnover for the Sun Devils, and it leads to a two for Justin Kyer. Ball over the block. And this gets poked into the backcourt and recovered by Kyer. Matherin from deep. Yes! And the Sun Devils will let it breathe. Horn launches off the mark. Graham with the offensive rebound. Jackson knocks down a three. Arizona State lighting it up. Five of their first nine from deep. Well, Mario Jackson shoots fall. He shoots over <laughs> five threes a game. He's always ready to let it fly. Answer for the Wildcats. You got to make those. When you get it deep against this Arizona front line, you got to capitalize. Oh! Gaffney with the block on the other end on Coloco. But then Rebounding. These are two really good teams. They're two of the top three shot blocking teams in the conference. Yeah. Great. The first few weeks of the season, he was kind of a non-factor, and now he's awesome. This relentless pace continues. Ballo with the land to tie the game at 21, but you're right in that triple overtime game Saturday. Pass the inside. That was intended for Larson, but Tubelis picked it off and scored, and Arizona has their first lead of the game. Started 18 games last year for the Ron Utes. How about the rainbow shoes of DJ yeah. Horn tonight? Very impressive. Lawrence. Three-quarter court pressure quite a bit over the last two weeks. Trying to speed him up. Create tempo. Jackson. Four shots against the Wildcats in the first game. That was a season low. He's got a point to prove in this one as well. Terry with an answer. Graham off the get back. And Graham, who had no points in the first half against UCLA, came to life in the second half of that game. <laughs> 31 29 of the Sun Devils. Larson bags a three. And Larson, a guy that 
former coach Larry Kostowiak described. He could have been recruited as a linebacker for the Utah football team. Meanwhile, to Bellis. Kyrie. As the timer goes inside at 10. Larson off the pick. Could have been a moving screen from Tubelis. And Larson well, he turned on the Jets to score. Speaking of, Tubelis gets his own miss. Nice. And puts it back up and in. It's allowed Pella Larson and Umar Balo to get some minutes. And they have thrived. The turnover from Graham. The Wildcats stretch their lead. See, guys were bouncing off of Larson. Nice bounce pass underneath from Lawrence who had to contort his body. Let the shot clock drift inside of 10. Parisa turned it over. Up into the front court, Jemaya Neal. Defense and then this exclamation point. He could have dunked that with his forehead. Yeah, I can't wait to see 20 more minutes of this one, Alex. Strap in, I'm ready. Looking to take the season series. Jay Heath with a turnover right off the hop for Arizona State. Three ball. Teresa. Scoreless. The only starter that was scoreless. 0 for 1 from 3. He gets on the board early. And the largest lead for Arizona. Arizona State fans are going to love ribbing this guy who's got more confidence <laughs> than any player I've watched all season. That's nice oh, Matherin thought he got hit. And we called his name in that department. Nice pass inside to Bellis. Couldn't finish. Offensive rebound for the Wildcats. And Coloco rolls it in. Gaffney off the front of the rim. And here comes trouble now as they lob it up top. Oh, what a play! 16 of their 19 wins have been by double digits. They have a scoring margin of 20 and a half. That's a monster oh. number. Settles things down for the Sun Devils. Deal with. Yeah. And remember, Jalen Graham and Kamani Lawrence are the only two Sun Devils that are in this game that were here during that 2020 epic comeback. Oh. Coloco High School in Los Angeles, and now he's a stout 230. Here he is. Throw it down, big fella. More than that. Coloco with defensive board. He clears to Matherin. Up ahead. This time, Terry! Well, Arizona State in the second half. They have turned it over at an alarming rate. Terry hangs and scores. But the points are piling up now for Arizona. 10-0 run, extending the lead to 19. And Jackson hits for the baseline. It's to get deflections on the defensive end. 18 points to margin. Horn. First half. Front of the rim for Horn. Battle for the loose nice. ball. Hustle play by Lawrence. And Horn gets a three. That's a much needed second chance opportunity for Arizona State. Meanwhile, in the front court, the Wildcats continue to have their way. Looking for the offensive board as Jackson lost the handle. A tip from Lawrence preventing a fast break. Arizona may still get one on the break, and they do with Matherin. Oh, you know. They're no longer puppy dogs. This is a team that has just a load of talent. Two on the season. Nice repost. Yeah. Oh, high low game. Larson feeding the post and Ballo with the finish. Don't have to shoot it or drive it. Get it right back. Deep position. We still have a lot of basketball left. I've seen a lot of weird things happen. There's Ballo twisting and turning underneath the rim. Hey, Matherin backs it out here. Larson off the shot pick. A three. You bets. Remember, Arizona State led 14 to 1 at the beginning of this game. 14 to 1, 16 to 3. Yeah. This building was on fire. Oh, gee, that's a beautiful move there. Now as well, the second. Heath gets the three. Thought though, if Coloco is going to play drop coverage here, that's the shot you have to take. They just can't match up with him. And most teams can't match up with him. Off the rim. 
Another short possession. It comes up empty to Bellis. Might that be the exclamation point? Two to four in fast break points. They come at you like a tidal wave. Four to just 22% from deep this season. Defensive end gets beaten by Lawrence with the drop step. I, I mean, I beg to differ. You, you guys tell me, Lloyd, well, okay. this, this Arizona team, they, they don't shoot the three well. At least they have in the last four games. Two Bellis gets a nice pass. Mm -hmm. A lot of basketball have to be played. But let's say this Arizona team is a one seed, and they're playing in the second and third round. They're going to play a team that is just as athletic. There's to Bellis with 17 points. Now making 19 to lead Arizona. 18. They still have to play Oregon twice, still have to face UCLA again and USC. Yikes. So they'll get tested pretty soon. James Akinjo, who is now the starting point guard for a top 10 Baylor Bear team. So this Arizona program was so loaded with talent that it's gone elsewhere. Javu in their home court against a top five opponent. And it was not to be one day's rest. I thought it was a fair question to, to ask. You asked me uh, in the opening part of this game, how much are they going to have left in the tank? Picked to finish fourth, and the Pac-12 preseason poll didn't receive a single first-place vote. Late turnover here. But they have some breathing room now. Atop the Pac-12 as Olmstead throws it down late. Arizona takes the season series over their rivals in Tempe, 91-79 the final.